will start. There is a special sum, there is a normal sum and graph, there is an overlay, and we all know what's coming next. There he is, Dante. Yep, Dante in defense position. Activate its effect to just mill. Th oh, yes, uh, he's milling three. He mills the tour guard. He activates Gruff. Gruff lets him special summon one, burning up his out of his screen, uh, out of his deck. Probably a seer. Yep, there he is, the steer hits the field in defense position. Ask the worst year, my man of the day. We have some <laughs> some more commentary than um <laughs> commentary is <the> night. <laughs> commentary like this such a nice word. Um, yeah. But there's the Seer and two set cards. Strong opening by uh, Giorgio. Ilari on the other side is playing Stellar Knight. He activates a random MST. The random MST on the Mind Crush. There's no response because um, Giorgio. Oh wow. He MSTs the Mind Crush and then activates reinforcement of the army. Very good play by uh, Ilario. And is it. Atena Vega. Oh my god. If I'm seeing right, this is a hand without any spells. Oh, is it, a, it is another Mind Crush. Georgia really started off with two Mind Crush and the Veiler. Very strong opening by Georgia. So Altair gets Veilert, um, he mind crushed before, strong opening, but I think I saw a call. So uh, Georgia down to one card in his hand with the Seer and Dante on the field. Um, Ilari on the other side with Altair and two set card. One of them is definitely Call of the Haunted. So Dante activates its effect, there's Libic, Mills 3, there's a Skarm, there's a Seer, very good mill by uh, Giorgio. Yep. The Gruff out of the graveyard, summoned by Seer. We are some more of you right now, we are on 65 right now, so good morning again, it's 10.15 here in Italy, Bologna, and we are currently in the last round for Swiss today, until we go to the top cut. People like Piran, they already dropped out, or Marvin Weber, they will go for the side event, but there are still some players left like Arpa Engine, Sasha Fabian, who are fighting for tops. There's another Dante overlaid uh, with the uh, Seer and Graf. So if we have a quick look at the body language again, um, I would bet my money on Giorgio because Giorgio is looking very confident. And um, Ilari on the other side. <laughs> is in some kind of I would say nervous situation. He, if you if you can see that he was just uh, playing around with the dice. He looks to uh, the graveyard of uh, Giorgio, and his face is not happy. He's looking sad. 
wow, 2.15 a.m. and they are, you're still here, you're my hero, man. You're my hero if you start, if you just have a look at our stream at 2 a.m. in the morning. This is good. On the other side, <laughs> Sydney, yeah, 6, 6 p.m. should be a good time to watch some Yu-Gi-Oh. There's George just summoning. Um, is it? Oh, I can't see. Is it a far far? So uh, Dante on 2500, Dante on uh, 2500, and a far far. Yep, Farfetch attacks into Altair, removes Altair. Uh, both Dantes are probably going through. And both Dantes get overlead uh, with uh, Donner Magician. And he's searching it. I think it, it's a Gruff. Yeah, there's Vega, there's Unokai. The Denim goes to the grave. And that's a very good board for Larry then. He has lots of options to uh, go for right now. And there is the emptiness. Emptiness with. Uh, back up both of the Donner's Magicians and as you can see Ilarius turning all those monsters into defense position that's not good for him there's no way he can get uh, over Donner's Magician right now George on the other hand he draws into something and I told you it's all about the body language you just look at the player and you know if they are really strong or if they are really weak and George who is indeed the stronger confident more confident person uh, there's a nova face down Ilaria on 1700 life points, 1300 life points, it's pretty tough then. <laughs> yeah. um, and we have a question at the feature match table. But we have a judge to solve the situation. Um, I think he has a face down Nova and he wants to ask if he can activate it or not. Magician is getting destroyed along with the Vanity's Emptiness and that is definitely good for Alario because he can draw into something to uh, go for some good moves. On the other side, Giorgio, he goes for uh, Search Seer and he should probably have at least two cards in his hand. Hilario down with two 
1500 life points. With this Unulkai is destroyed, Dawn Magician's effect activates, Dante is going to the graveyard. And uh, I think he wanted to go for the Dragon Slayer, but it's Drown Slayer. And yep, uh, Mirafold with uh, not so confident language, uh, body language, can uh, turn games around because people don't expect that. And if you're sitting in your chair, and you're very sad, and then he activates, uh, like he is attacking with two or three monsters into Mirafold, you can just get your smile back, and you can turn around games. So. Uh, there is a Danap. This is the Thrados for everyone who doesn't know Danap. Danap can search for another Selenite. And that's what Ilaria does. It could be an Altair. I can't see it completely, but it should be an Altair. There's another set card. And um, it's probably not attacking into the face monster. Yep, he isn't. So it's George's turn. Judge just summon Seer along with uh, Donut Magician, so um, Seer destroys himself, getting big Dante, um, attacking with Donut Magician, Hilarious on 800 time left, 800 left plus left, uh, attack with Dante for game, nope, there is another call on on Vega and Vega lets him special summon the Altair from his hand if possible Another Donut Magician, okay. Two hundred life points on Hilarious side. And um, just to let you know, Hilarious one of two Stellar Knights who are left with the chances on top sixteen. So if Valeria loses this game, there's just one satellite who can manage to go to top 16. And there, like Dems 21 said, it's time to shine. Crush card virus. Um, yeah, <laughs> Hilaria, you know, do the 200 life points. There's nothing much you can do. Um, scoop, scoop, scoop. Game two. I don't have the deck list here, but Giorgio manages to win game one against Stellanite or Satellanite from Ilario and he's looking confident for a game two. It's just one more win until his appearance in top 16 with Burning Abyss.
Mancano 23 minuti. Still 23 minuti. Twenty three minutes. And the twenty round. minutes left in the round, so we are at half time of the round. If you want just to finished register, game one. Event will start at eleven o'clock. So and um, if anyone wants to together. know how the app is do other good players like uh, Barberi, Longdao, Alpha Engine, Sasha Fabian, you can just ask and I will try to tell you if the players are nearby. Just to let you know, this is the last round for today. There will be a cut to top 16 after this round aided Tour of Bologna. So, Giorgio is very confident for the top 60 with his burning abyss if uh, he managed to win game two. Larry on the other side, he is uh, fighting for his spot in the top 16. Um, one of them will have the chance to compete in the top 16 for the flight to the Interfacial World Championship in the US and um, the, other, the other one has the chance to uh, attempt the side event and the side event will be constructed and they have the chance to win the flight to the next major tour stop of Complexity Card Gaming. So um, he's going for another pie shuffle. Hopefully he's doing that quick. There are just about 18 minutes left in the round. I don't know if you saw the pairings. Um, an interesting match uh, is happening right now. It's Alpi Engine, Alpi the running motor engine engine um, <laughs> against Federico Sopini, both with 18 points on table two. And Sasha Fabian on table six against uh, Burning Abbas player. Stefano Lenti, um, we saw him before in a feature match. He's playing Gianluca Leone as well, a guy. We saw the feature match before. Robin Bachofer, he's playing against Luca Moroni on tape 13. They are both um, playing for the tops. Both of 15 points. Long down on table 8 is uh, playing Alex Oriana. <laughs> and Luigi Alici on table 3, he is playing. Um, Alberto Conti, which we all also saw in the feature match before, um, he's playing Clifford and he's still with 18 points, so he's still X1. But we're right now back into uh, game 2, S things are starting off with Rhoda, Rhoda for Danip, for set. that's what Stella Knight does. Having the Stratos plus some back rows. Um, we'll see the turn for Giorgio, Giorgio normal some smell magicians, there is the finished chain. So no effect today for uh, Mathematician. Then uh, Ilario says uh, thank you for a thousand life points for free. Um, the trade uh, for a card, Upside Goblin. And we'll see some set cards. Um, yep, three set cards by Giorgio. <laughs> so it's some kind of uh, if we're looking at the body language again, Ilario, even if he has the finish chain with the uh, three sets <coughs> aside with Danab, he's not looking that confident. And there is a Booger Moon on Danab.
Yep. And there is summon. Deneb for the second time, Ali. <laughs> he books his own Deneb. What do you think about that move? Going for yeah. Unokai? I don't like Unokai. I really don't like him. I really don't like him. But yeah, going for... But this, look, look, Ali. I told the situation the, I was what? He summoned uh, Deneb. He summoned Deneb before and now he uh, booked it to get another search. Yeah, it's good. Why not? And there's the call Ooh. for Deneb again. Maxi is on uh, Call of the Haunted. That Maxi was pretty good, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, I just see like the trivia is coming and bouncing everything back to the field. Uh, back to the end, sorry. You're thinking about trivia, right? Yeah, sure. A dead call, a dead finish chain, back to the end is good. Dead call, dead finish chain, going back to end. Yeah. And there, <laughs> there, there he is. is. So, <laughs> Trevor, it's the field. I didn't expect that. Sorry. <laughs> so but there's good. breakthrough skill. I'm not so into it. It's just my brother and I help him out. And good man, uh, if we have a staff on the left hand, he's going on to the ground. And I'm not so uh, good. Uh, yeah. Sandy, what do you think about this? Breakthrough skill on <laughs> Trevor. Thanks to the head judge, we know there is 16 minutes left in the round. There is a Phoenix wing, wing blast. And this should, yep, this is definitely a scar, and he searches a tour guide in the end phase. I don't know what really happens. So if you see any reason for a confusion, please let me know in the chat, because I don't see any.
we just check for you what's going on. So, hopefully the problem is solved and we can continue with Yu-Gi-Oh! Because that's why you and me, we are here for seeing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, there is um, a finished chain. There's an overlay. There's a Alucard Ghost Trick. Uh, on call. Chain. Ah, okay. He said I used that twice. But then was the last... Yep. Correct. Thanks, Vasoleros, uh, and uh, thanks, Fixie and Lost Atlantis. Back to the body language. Uh, Ilario is looking desperate, and George on the other side very confident. So, um. If it's right that George is still has three ca oh, there's the mind crush on our chair. Thanks to the guys in the chat who are here and watched the game and saw that there was an incident with Danep and that's why they called uh, the judge. But the judge. solve the problem um, and I think it doesn't really matter because Ilari is in a very very bad position right now uh, with two face up finish chain two face up call they haunted um, a giant grenade would be right uh, where would be good right now giant grenade uh, getting back all these cards unfortunately giant uh, there is uh, no giant grenade yep Dante Milling 3, Crush card, Mine Crush, and a Seer. Seer activates on Skarm. Skarm hits the field, is destroyed because there's a non burning Abyss on the field with Ghost Trick Alucard. Um, but he will get another search. And um, <laughs> Ilario is down to, we'll see at least, should be 4000 life points. Scrum activates in the end phase, Georgia is searching for another card and um, it's not nice to see Ilario's reaction right now. He is really really sad, he was so close to top 16 and now his dreams shattered. So no top 16 for Ilario, that's how it looks like and um, I just can say welcome to Giorgio for uh, top 16. Yep, he has the MST. And he will just go, yep, mill 3, come on, yep, do it. Two breakthrough skill, really, really useful. And attack for game, come on, attack for game, please. We need some more damage. Um, Shnogi, I'll just tell you, this is the last round for today in Swiss and the last round in total. This is round 8 and um, we will have a top 16 cut after that. <coughs> yeah, everything is today. Um, so we, we will have top 16 right after that, top 16, top 8, top 4 and then going for the grand final and uh, then we'll know who is going to the unofficial world championship uh, in the US. <laughs> there is there is a maxi you see right there is a maxi on the field attacking maxi dante and um goes through all the card and another set card so ilario draws and is he scooping yep there's maxi there's handshake welcome to top 16 george alaska with your burning up a stack 
finishing things off with Maxi. <laughs> so, top for George Daskal. He's very happy. 